Okay, well, thank you very much for having us on the program. I mean, first of all, our thoughts go definitely with uh, the people in the Ukraine. I mean, it's a very disturbing situation. And uh, for those sanction company, there are probably two impacts. One is a direct impact, and the second one is a indirect impact. From a direct impact, we had to stop uh, sales of our products in uh, Russia and Ukraine, which is a very small part of our business. What we really feel is the indirect uh, uh, impact. Uh, areas such as commodities, oil prices increasing, fertilizer, a key input in agriculture, uh, important for us, also increasing dramatically, uh, supply chain disruptions, uh, containers not available, uh, and at the same time, uh, we can see price inflations as a consequence of that. Yeah? So definitely, I think the whole food industry around the world is feeling the impact through these direct and uh, indirect uh, uh, impacts, which I've described before. And certainly food price inflation just means that those who have difficulty accessing food already will find it even more difficult. Another problem is, of course, food waste. I see that you've got a pledge of zero fruit loss. What initiatives are you taking to achieve that and when by? Yeah. No, thank you for mentioning this. This is very important for us. So we launched uh, two years ago the Doll Promise and the Doll Purpose, which is all around uh, commitment to making a positive impact to people, planet, and prosperity, which we call the doll purpose, sunshine for all, from the goodness of the earth to all consumers without jeopardizing the planet. Uh, the objective is, with different initiatives, is to move a step closer to fulfilling the doll promises around reducing waste, around reducing carbon emissions, around reducing plastic, and also creating shared holder value. In the area of waste, that's a very important one, because if you look at statistics, around 30% of products are being wasted from farm to market. Uh, and we have made some very ambitious goals uh, that over the next five years, we're going to reduce our waste to zero, uh, which means there will be no landfill, that will be upscaling our waste. And we've just launched a very, very exciting initiative where we're upscaling waste into fashion products. So we're all about the circular economy. It's being launched today in April, and it will ensure that we working together with uh, social enterprises in the Philippines, such as Musa Fabric and the Casillac Developing Our Foundation. We take pseudo stamps, which would normally in many instances degradate in the farms and repurpose them and upcycling that waste into fashion products. So really this is a very uh, tangible initiative on top of many other initiatives which we have, because we feel that Whilst uh, agricultural land is not growing, uh, population is growing, we need to make sure that we reduce the waste throughout the whole value chain from farm to market.